it to Ice Age TV, and looky here, I, for the first time yet, I'm going to pull my car hauler, a 28-foot car hauler with my F-350 Tremor 7.3 Godzilla motor now. When I first got this truck last, like, March of last year, I did a tow review with my dump trailer, but I've never done a tow review with my car hauler, and, you know, I much prefer my dually over there. And, but at the same time, I'm curious as to how this vehicle here, the F-350 Tremor package does. So I'm gonna do that and give you my ideas and reviews on that today. Follow me along. Now, first thing I gotta do is I gotta hook up the trailer. And I gotta usually back it. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> now, I'm not embellishing here. I literally just backed this truck up to that spot exactly. That's a first ever. Wow. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> All right, got her hooked up. Is she squatting much? Doesn't look like it, but I don't have any weight in the trailer, so yeah. I think she'll squat a little bit. But now I gotta set up my uh, trailer sway and backup assist thing where you gotta. So my dually truck should have that dimension to that trailer. And uh, let me get in my dually. Even though I really want to drive my dually. I haven't driven this a while. And uh, let's see. Uh-oh. It's probably right here. All right. Now, we go to our trailer setup. Towing trailer setup. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Add trailer. So, we're making an A. Default electric surge. Okay. Trailer brake low effort. Okay, conventional. And then you want to set up trailer blind spot? Yes. This is with less than 30 on three. Yes. Okay, enter trailer link. The first thing you do here, you can see here the sun's kind of hurting you. So the trailer length, okay, is gonna be here. It's interesting. The trailer is about 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay. Okay. Now. Yes. Try forward straight. did that. Now, they stick her now. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now, trailer back up, set up. Now, looking for measurement A, which is 13 inches and three quarters. And so, what do you think? Go for the 14. We'll go for that. And then, horizontal difference. It's 13 inches. Got that. And let's see here. Now distance from the rear, 42 inches. So right now, notice on how my backup camera's on. See that? See that little checkered thing there? So 42 inches, better that. And then horizontal distance, 248 inches. Okay, got that. Now, review your measurements. Yes, I'm saying yes. 
Yes. Wow, isn't that awesome? Cool. There you go. So you have a little cheat sheet here that you get in your truck that tells you right down all these measurements. Okay. And it does make a big difference in how the truck handles going down the road. Playing hide and go seek. All right, got one thing down. I gotta get my talon. My talon loaded up. All right, got the talon loaded up. Taking out my dealer. Who knows what I'm gonna do next, right? Go buy something else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know me. Do you know me? <laughs> all right. She's all packed up and ready to go. And let's see how the F-350 Tremor single axle over my dually handles the day. Never have pulled this much weight in this big trailer as far as I've pulled more weight, but not long term. Worth all that wind resistance in that big trailer. You know, dump trailer is a whole, whole different ball game. All right, so today, there's a big difference in me towing today when I compare vehicles. The F-350 gas engine here, 7.3 Godzilla versus my diesel dually. And uh, biggest thing is I don't have my car or two Harleys or two Indians or the heavier bikes. So usually I have like two motorcycles that weigh about 900 pounds each. Then I have a car usually weighs about 4,000 pounds. So you're really talking close to 6,000 pounds in the trailer. But today, I just have more like, uh, I would say maybe 2,200 pounds, 2,300 pounds. So yeah, so today, you know, I don't really have a lot of weight in that trailer. So I would say today that the trailer, if you're I'm usually hauling close to 6,000 pounds, so I'd say there's a good 4,700 pound difference. Basically, like a good sized car being this trailer. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how this pulls with that less of weight, if you know what I mean. So, uh, follow me along here. So the first thing, we're at 10.7 miles per gallon. Good Lord. My daughter's worse than me driving my vehicles. This thing's usually about 12, but she does a lot of back road driving, a lot of stop and go traffic. But, woo, wow, what do you think it's going to be when I start trailing this trailer? Six, eight, I would say eight to nine, be my guess. All right, so just started driving her. And first thing I'm noticing is, you know, that low end torque feel, which I get out of that massive diesel motor. So uh, instantaneous on that. But, you know, I haven't driven my dually in a while, but I, when I do trailer, I usually use my dually. So I do kind of know the power feel when I pull this trailer. So that's the first thing I've noticed. The other thing is, this is a six foot uh, bed versus my dually's an eight foot bed. But, you know, so far, I gotta tell you, I mean, you know, the downside is I need to have a car in there and my two uh, heavy motorcycles to really get a real good feel for what's really going on. But right now, you know, going up this hill, this is a steeper grade than the video shows. But, I mean, impressive. So, uh, so far, I'm very impressed with that. But once again, I'd like to see uh, an extra 4,000 pounds in this trailer to really get an idea of really how, you know, radically different it is or isn't. Pretty incredible if you think about it. You know, I bought this truck March of 2020. And now here it is borderline November of 2021 and this is the first time I've used this truck to pull my car hauler and you know I've always have had an F450 uh, dually truck so and I usually go on you know thousand mile trips and you know for me I think the dually is a better way to go I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that but at the same time if I didn't have two trucks and I had to have one truck then I would keep my F350 single axle truck because it's just more versatile for what I use it for 
more do. And so now I'm just thinking to myself, well, do I need the F-450? Like, you know, for me, I'm always, you know, buying and selling cars and trucks. And, you know, do I say, hey, this truck here is plenty enough to handle the, uh, you know, the weights of this trailer, which, you know, it does. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind the truck will pull it. But the real question is, look at that, look at that, look at that gear. This thing is in second gear. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Isn't that something? So this thing's really using the engine, you know, the transmission engine to really, as you say, transmission, not the engine. It's not like a diesel. We have that brake exhaust, diesel brake exhaust. I mean, that was pretty radical right there. That's interesting. So my, my biggest, you know, thoughts are on my dually truck to my single axle truck. You know, what I'm what I'm thinking is when you're on the open road, how much does this, this trailer walk? You know, believe it or not, that F450, since it has a solid front axle, what I just learned recently here about a month ago from a Ford salesman, he claims that their Ford has uh, addressed the issue I've talked about years is these front, you know, axles, solid axles, these trucks, the vehicles walk, you know, and if you know that language, it's basically your vehicle kind of tends to steer one way and, and another way going down the roads from not having an independent front suspension. So, he claims that the uh, F450 series has now a feature in it which addresses that walking issue. You know, some steering, uh, something been installed in the steering system to, uh, you know, compensate so that you don't get the walk. And, and that's what I think that this truck here, being it's a single rear axle, I think I'm going to even feel more of that back trailer walking. And yes, I do know I can buy a sway bar kit to uh, help address that. So I do know about that. And, but at the same time, for the most part, I've been pretty fortunate. And I just haven't had to use it. But I know it does help that a lot. But also, you saw me setting up the truck here. And the anti-sway uh, is supposed to be factored into this truck now. Because the truck's supposed to be doing its own little secretive, like, braking to kind of offset that trailer sway. So uh, I'm going down the back roads right now, which, you know, that's kind of the way I always go to get to my destinations. But downside is the road's so tight that you have all these trees and branches and uh, it scrapes the hell out of my nice trailer. But they have been back here uh, trimming all the branches and trees that are overgrown into the road. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And yeah, I already got a ton of scratches. So right, another scratch. <laughs> not really what I not really comforting, but they did clear out a lot of brush in the road. So uh, that's why I'm doing it. All right. So right now, going up another hill, back roads, and it was in second gear, third gear, pulled good. Now, right now, this is a 12K rated trailer. And, you know, I bought this thing back in 2017. And I'm going off memory. But I'm pretty sure my trailer weighs, I think that trailer weighs about 5,000 pounds, uh, maybe 6,000 pounds empty. You know, I think my load weight is maybe 6,000 pounds. Pretty sure that's what it is so today you know i'd say right now that we're pulling you know i would say 7300 pounds that'd be my guess uh, maybe 7500 pounds so you know not bad at all you know and yeah if i looked at the aluminum trailers i have wow i am impressed so far i mean i just went down a back road kind of up some not radical hills, but here we go. So now we're going out to the highway. And, I mean, this thing pulls. I mean, damn. I really wish I had a, my whole packed up trailer to really get a better idea. Which, <laughs> I'm going to have to do that just to do it. But right now, <clears throat> very impressive. I mean, this thing's just rocking. This thing's rocking. I 
mean, you know, this is 7,500 pounds of weight, and I got a lot of wind resistance, you know, because of big ass box trailers behind me. But I mean, right now, this truck so far, but this is where I'm worried. So this is what I'm gonna get into right now is what does that trailer start doing already at 65? I'm feeling a little bit of a walk back there. So, you know, it's on the open highways where you can do 70, 75 miles an hour. And that's the real deal. So for right now, so far, it seems to be pretty good. So let me get some more miles up here and kind of tell you what I'm thinking. But so far, she's feeling really good. She's in ninth gear. So that's interesting. You know, she hasn't gone to 10th gear. I got her in trailer, trailer mode. On this truck, it's pretty simple. There's a drive mode button right there, you know, versus on my F-150 Tremor I bought. If you watch my videos, that F-150 Tremor, I didn't know there was a freaking dial to change the settings for the trailer tow, so I never got a real good, uh, gave real good impressions on that initial video because I never uh, actually had it in the proper uh, mode to trailer right now so now we're in eighth gear so now to me you know my diesel dually you know the nice thing I like about these trucks is you can set your adaptive freeze so I'll space it out a little bit more so I can just set my adaptive and now you know that's one thing that drove me to the Ford product was adaptive massaging seat even though this truck here this truck here doesn't have that but now, the fuel mileage on my dually, you know, I would say that's a good 10 miles per gallon. You know, this one here, I think it's going to be at 8. Now, this thing will run on, you know, 87 octane fuel. And in today's diesel fuel market, that's probably a 50 cent, 50 cent if not 75 cents. I'm not real sure on that. But I would say at least 50 cent a gallon difference, possibly. So even though I'm getting two miles per gallon less, you know, if you factor that, you know, let's just say right now diesel fuel is four dollars a gallon, and I'm paying 350 for a regular no lead. So you go 100 miles on diesel and you burn 10 gallons, right? And is that right? Yeah, 10 miles to a gallon. And then you go 100 miles and you're going to burn like a little over 12 gallons of uh, gas for the same distance. All right, we're coming up the big hill here. So let's see how she does. And I think I'm going to tone her down a little bit because uh, she's, uh, don't do that, dude. I'm going to tone her down to 60 just to be a little bit more in line so so far six gear you know so far pulling hard pulling good I mean this is awesome I mean so far she's rocking is this thing struggling no no yeah I know I know <laughs> at 4,500 pounds in that trailer see what happens buddy <laughs> I know I hear you but, you know, considering this is a good 7,000 pounds behind us right now, and it's a big trailer with a lot of wind resistance, I mean, to me, very impressive, man. I mean, I'm very impressed. Nice. Now, going down the other side of this hill here, this is where I think it's going to get a little freaky. So, she shouldn't have shipped it there. She kind of, I think she shouldn't have shipped it there. I think she just kind of lost it. So, look at there. She's in eighth gear. She should have stayed in seventh. Which can I ever I can override that, but I'm not. So now here's the thing. Going down the hill, I think I'm gonna kick her down. So let's see if she does going down. You know, it's the gearing that you know, you know, this does it get freaky on us. Since I have the adaptive on, the truck's actually breaking itself. But so far our trailer, you know, that trailer back there has felt pretty good. There you go. We're in fifth gear right now. 
Oh no. Fourth year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just hope this thing doesn't crank the. Th oh no, third year. Yeah, they, I mean, that's a little radical. I don't know why I want to do that. I mean, that's where I'm sucking the hell out of fuel now. Look at that. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. I think, I think that's. I think in that engineering part, why did they go that hard? So let me go up to. Maybe if I go up a little higher uh, speed, what does that do for us? Does that maybe kick it in the fourth? Nope, it doesn't. Wow. So I kind of take it back down. Yeah, so I think that's where it's kind of, you know, that's where I'd borderline take this thing out of trailer mode. Just because it's, to me, too much. I think it's overkill. So that, 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 you know, that's not, I don't really like that. You know, that's kind of negative to me, but yeah, all right. So now she goes back to fifth and she hits six. Yeah, we're in six now, a little more respective. All right, so, you know, we're talking fuel now. So let's just say that my numbers are right. There were 10 in the diesel, eight on the gas, and there's a 50 cent gasoline to diesel price spread to the gas favor being, let's say, 350 and the diesel's $4. You know, and I, I may be off by 25 cents, but let's just leave it at 50 cent spread. And so, in that scenario, going 100 miles, you're going to use 10 gallons of diesel to go to 100 miles. So you're basically going to use a little over 12 gallons of gas to go 100 miles. So that's actually uh, two gallons of uh, more fuel for your, uh, your you know, same distance. So for the diesel, you spent $40. And for the gas, now, you know, it's so interesting how we all... You know, if you're my age, you know, you grew up in the 70s and you kind of got driving in your 80s, late 70s, 80s, and you've been around, you know, the trucks and cars and the gas motors and diesels, you know, it's pretty incredible how I think back to 1997, I purchased my first uh, diesel uh, Ram, back then Dodge Ram, Cummins truck. I think that thing was like a 350 horsepower, maybe 400. I don't think so, but I'll just say 350. And then I think the I think the torque on it was like five something, maybe 550, maybe 600. I just can't remember. You have to look up all the specs. <laughs> but yet here we are now in you know 2021 production year of vehicles. And this 7.3 Godzilla motor, you know, it has 400 and some odd horsepower, and it has 500 and some odd foot pounds of torque. You know, 570, 580, I don't know. You know, for me, I have so many vehicles. Can I keep track of all these numbers? I can't. You know, so anybody's like, you don't even know what you're driving. Well, when you have as many vehicles as I have, to be fixated on one vehicle all the time with all the specs, you know, I just can't do it. But, you know, really what I'm trying to convey here is it's crazy to think that this gas motor has a, as much power or more power than a diesel did back in the day of the 90s, late 90s, you know, and, and people are going out of the way to buy a diesel vehicle just for those, you know, specs that I just told you. And yet today, you know, I get it. I've got a diesel truck, but today, you know, people... gravitate towards the diesel truck, you know, because it's a monster, you know, these things are now pushing, what, 500 horsepower and nine, like a thousand foot-pounds of torque, I mean, you know, it's crazy, so yeah, the nice thing about the, you know, the diesels, like my, my uh, 2020 F450 that I bought, you know, or 2021, wherever the hell it is, <laughs> pretty sure it's a 2020 uh, like they're that radically different for 20. Twenty twenty two, yes, with that steering ref refinement, you know. So, you know, here I bought the diesel, and yeah, it's got like a thousand foot pounds of torque. 
and now I'm kind of thinking about the conversation. So far, this trailer's doing really well. It's not, you know, walking around, but I'm not at the highway speeds that I usually get out there on the main highways, you know? So let's kind of ratchet this up a little bit and uh, see what happens then. I'd be curious. There's like a, there's usually a threshold where these things start to really kind of start acting differently. All right, so right now, I'm doing some speeds here. And so far, that trailer doesn't really act much different than from my uh, F450. But once again, I haven't trailered this truck like empty like this. I'm sure hope this light stays green. So, you know, but right now, you know, right now this thing's just rocking. It's rocking. It's awesome. Wow. I just came off the light. Not even getting into it. Wow, Skr. Man, this thing's just badass. I mean, I really am impressed. This truck is really handling this trailer a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, and, you know, unbeknownst stuff. I'm talking, you know, I had the 2500 Ram gas, and I had diesel as well. And I had a 2500 Mega Cab gas, and I've had the, uh, I've actually had the uh, Chevy Duramax 2500. And, and I'm going to tell you what, that thing just got so jerked around. It was the same dimension as this truck right here. And that Chevy, that was like a 2000, let's say 16 Chevy truck, 2500. And it just got pulled all over the road. All right, I'm here at the Honda dealership, Timbrook Honda. All right, there she is. I'm impressed. And she's a short bed too, so keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go in and get my unit serviced. And the danger is, do I buy something? <laughs> yeah, the wife would be like, get the hell out of there as fast as possible. <laughs> See all those scratches? Is that heartbreaking or what? I mean, oh my gosh. You go down those back roads, man, you just scratch the hell out of these things. All right, heading back with an empty trailer. So uh, don't think there'd be a lot for me to tell you all about that situation, but I'll probably weigh in a few thoughts here. But wow, I'm loving the F-350 Tremor truck day with this Godzilla motor. It's sweet. And there's the Honda Talon. Anybody want a nice Honda Talon? Come out here to Timbrook Honda, and there it is. I just sold it to him, and... Uh, Somebody be very happy with a freshly used Honda Town, all batted up, badass looking. And I'll say it again. I mean, this truck here, now I don't have anything in it, it's empty trailer, but I think we're talking a 5,000 pound, 6,000 pound trailer. I don't know why I didn't look at the damn GBW of this damn trailer, boy got back in it but anyways this thing's just rock solid i mean this thing's just pulling this trailer like butter so uh very impressive very impressive and um the fuel mileage let's look at the fuel mileage here Oops. fuel economy oh we're at eight so i was speculating about eight miles per gallon i think that with this truck loaded up being, you know, about 11, 12,000 pound weight, I think you, you're probably in that seven to eight mile per gallon range would be my uh, expectation. So, uh, I'm just really, uh, I'm really impressed. Great truck, great tow vehicle, and the trailer isn't walking, and, uh, you know, and I know I got to put the big heavy load in it to really come to closure if it is that much radically different from my dually. And, uh, hopefully I can do that here in the near future. We've got a road trip to do, and uh, I have to think about that. All right, I'll just kind of let you hear the truck, so you kind of get a good idea when you're rolling down the road. You know that MBRP exhaust I put on it. I think that was a great choice. Yeah, I'm 
until I got this thing loaded up, I don't think I can really honestly say to anybody, yeah, that's, you know, the real deal is what I'm telling you. But so far, you know, very impressed with uh, the weight that I towed this morning, which wasn't significant, but, you know, you know really nice. Just enjoying the drive. And here I'm getting ready to go over the mountain. You know, we all have our favorite vehicles, and for me, I've had so many vehicles in my lifetime, and you know, and I always have so many vehicles around me. How do you kind of <laughs> say what's your favorite vehicle? But I do. And what's interesting is my daughter just loves this Ford F three hundred and fifty truck, and I mean, I'm not lying to you. She has driven this truck more than I have recently. It's like, oh my gosh. She just loves to drive us to school and uh, go to the horse barn and and so you know I really don't drive this truck that much and golly I'm driving this thing today with this trailer and I'm just loving this truck I mean oh my gosh and you know, you know I'm seeing some new commercials for the new GMC with all this new technology in them which is really does look good I mean I give them I give GM credit right now they seem to be bringing a pretty cool uh new revised uh, Denali 1500 and uh, the Chevy Silverado. They look good. You know, I haven't driven those vehicles because I've been a more of a Ford guy and Ram guy over the years, but, but it does look like they have something pretty neat to, uh, to offer people. But, you know, for me right now, I just really love this Ford product. It's just, you know, more than ever of owning vehicles, I'm just really I'm like, wow, I just like the Ford product. Can't see myself going to GM anytime soon, but but I will say they look like they got some pretty cool stuff coming our way. Going up the hill here to reverse the camera. All right, so see the change of season here is upon us. Just a really pretty time of year here in the uh, Virginia, you know, area where you start to see the nice change of colors and. Uh, And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Watching Ice Age TV and hit the subscribe button. That'd be great. And uh, man, I'll just tell you the Ford F350 truck, tremor package, 7.3 Godzilla motor. I mean, come on, man. 
I'm sorry, but for me right now, it's just uh, one of my favorites. So, hope any Ford lovers out there will watch my video. And hey, for GM and Ram guys, yeah, I know it's tough. Tough watching these videos, but it's all good in the end. Have a great day.